More interesting matchup here is Louisville and Florida State. It seems like nobody believes that Florida State is actually going to hang on to this fourth playoff spot. And heck, if they do, they're probably going to get shellacked by Georgia, not to rehash that conversation we had off the top. But still, Florida State, two and a half point favorites when the line opens this is Saturday night, the ACC championship game. Uh, it's in Charlotte on ABC. My main question is, is Louisville's defense good enough to whittle this down into a stalemate? We we saw that happen last week. The, the Knowles broke through late against the Florida Gators, but in that first half, Tate Ronemaker made throwing the ball downfield look impossible. Uh, they've got Ferraris out wide and Johnny Wilson and, and Keon Coleman, but you got to have someone to drive those Ferraris, right? And, and Rodemaker was not the guy. I think it shook America's confidence in the Knowles. Meanwhile, though, Louisville, they're coming off a loss to Kentucky. They also lost to Pitt earlier in the season. So while uh, that has been a tremendous turnaround, a great story, Louisville's not exactly been the poster child for consistency this year. Garrett, who are you taking in this game with such a tight line? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take Florida State to cover that number. I'm going to take them to win, and I actually think they win this one comfortably. Um, okay. I, I think you just got to go ahead and say the this team knows what it needs to do. It knows what everyone's saying about them. That Everyone can say, oh, you don't listen to the – news you don't listen to the guys on tv everyone listens everyone knows what they're saying about them they are saying that they're not one of the four best teams despite being undefeated despite running the table and despite by the way bouncing back in a real gutty way after losing your all-world quarterback and so when i look at this i think they know what they need to do and i think they're going to put a great effort around whoever ends up being quarterback for them, whether they you know, they find success with the backup or third string or whoever else they need to throw out there, somebody's going to get it done. Uh, and, and I believe that Florida State's going to be able to put up a pretty comfortable win because they know they need to get in. Now, what's their ceiling? I don't know. Uh, do they beat Georgia or Michigan, whoever gets that top spot? Yeah, I don't think so. But at least for this moment, I think they can put up a good enough effort to get in and that in itself, I think, is is a massive, massive step in the right direction, given what they've had to go through this season. Yeah, and people also forget that Florida State has an elite defense. They're top 20 in, in total defense, way up there in scoring defense as well. And people forget that it's a two-sided coin, right? There's, there's mm -hmm. 21 other starters out there for Florida State that can make plays. 11 of those are on the defensive side of the ball. And last I checked, they're doing pretty okay over there. So I think Florida State wins this one, goes to the playoff, and just kind of flips everybody off on the way. That's kind of naysaying them right now. And good for them. Guys, I'm going to believe in something this week. Uh, aside from the Christmas miracle and, and Iowa covering the spread, I'm going to believe that Florida State finds a way to get it done. Now, certainly easier said then done. Louisville has the 12th ranked rushing defense in the country. They've got all kinds of playmakers on their offensive side as well, and they're averaging almost three sacks per game. I think if they could rattle Rodemaker early, that's their key to success. If they blitz all day, I think Florida State is in trouble. A lot is going to be put on that offensive line, which is frankly just an average offensive line in this game. But I'm going to believe in my Knowles coin, in Mike Norvell, uh, and I think Florida State finds a way to secure that fourth seed. Not what Texas fans are going to want to hear. I understand that, but this is still a very good Florida State team. I know Jordan Travis going down is a big is a big negative for that team, but they've got a lot of pieces, a lot of experience around him. I think Florida State is still just the better team. I'm going to honor that in this game. Gracious, yeah. how about that?